Right, folks, I didn't catch it all today because I was working, but I did have it on in the background. Talk sport today, I think the big talking point today was they had a, was it a professor on, and I think he was saying children under the age of 16, he might have even said 18, he feels they should not be allowed to play rugby, be it league or union. He said there's too much head contact, there's too many concussions, and children are risking brain injury. Um, and anyway, that's what he was saying. Jim and Simon, I don't think we're of the same opinion, and I don't think most of the callers were either, and most of the people that had an opinion and text in. And I thought to myself, what a shame that would be if they stopped young guns playing rugby, because it's a game I love, especially league, I've been brought up on it. I'd hate to see a kid who's not playing it, and I think if you stopped them playing it up till the ages of 16 or 18 and let them play from then on, they're never going to get a proper grounding in the game, they're never going to get the skills of the game. Lots of players just take the ball, carry the ball forward and use as battering rams and that's it. But the great skill sets, the people that can handle the ball, that can pass the ball, that can make things happen, you, it's a God-given talent but you nurture it from being young, from being a seven, eight, nine year old all the way through and you get better and better and better the more you play. I think if you start people playing at 18 and 19, you're going to lose that. I think the quality of rugby will be so much poorer if kiddies aren't playing it from being kiddies. But I do get where he's coming from. Like when all said and done, I mean, I've got kiddies and grandkiddies. I don't want my grandkids, the lad that is, although I know ladies can play, now girls can play as well, getting banged around the head and risking brain injuries. I certainly don't. But then again, you've got to say, where does he send? Where do we stop him doing things? You know, you, you've got to give them some rope, I suppose. And many, many adults are around now that have played junior rugby and they're fine. You know, so it's a difficult one. But I do understand what it means about concussions. I do think probably the laws regarding regarding concussions need to be really tightened up, especially from, from young levels, you know, they really do. You know, you get a concussion and maybe three or six months out would be a good thing rather than a week or two weeks or a month. Maybe six months out would probably be better. And a kid getting two or three concussions, maybe, just maybe, they could think of giving that kid, I don't know, a, 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 a child ban, as in they can't come back into the game till they get older. I don't know, and maybe by that time, at 18 or 19, they're old enough to make up their own mind as well, I suppose. But I don't know, I thought it was a strange one, I thought it was interesting, although I didn't get to hear it really, I didn't get to hear the full argument. But I just thought, I'd feel so sorry if kiddies from a young age got stopped from playing rugby, you know, because as I, I live in Warrington here, we're in the heartland of rugby. What with your Widness and your St. Helens and your Wiggins and your Lee surrounding us, it's all many of the young ones have known from this area, so it would be sad, but I do get where the professor was coming from for a change.